What's up guys, my name is Javier and welcome back to Tool Craze where we're crazy about tools. When you guys think about woodworking, what tool brands pop up in mind? Probably not Milwaukee, but believe it or not they do offer several woodworking tools such as routers, miter saws, sanders and a few others. And a big surprise for me this year was that Milwaukee came out with a new woodworking tool in the form of a new cordless electric hand planer. It's actually very similar to corded models with a three and a quarter inch cutting width and it features the same overall shape and everything except of course that it's cordless and it takes Milwaukee's 18 volt M18 batteries. As I was saying, it's very interesting that Milwaukee came out with a cordless planer as I believe they don't even have a corded planer at the moment. I don't think of Milwaukee when I think of woodworking, but it's nice to see that they're making a bigger push into woodworking with yet another woodworking tool. I remember this year at the Milwaukee Symposium, they were demoing these planers while shaving off thin layers from the sides of a wooden door. It certainly does a good job if you want to remove some thickness from lumber, and it's also a great tool for smoothing out any imperfections on wood surfaces, such as fixing pockets, bumps, and when you want to make a flat smooth plane. It also works very well for fixing big imperfections, like when you want to make warp boards flat again by shaving off the high spots. Over here I have a board made of pine that I've had for a while, and as we can see the board is quite warped. It doesn't sit exactly flat on the surface as the board is curved and also one of the ends is lifted off the ground. All the other three corners are touching, so I use the M18 planer to shave off the high spots on the underside of the board. The previous board was a very soft wood, so I wanted to see how I would do on a hardwood. This board is red oak, and to really test out its performance, I set it to the max cutting thickness of 564 of an inch. And I like that, even though this is a cordless power tool, it went at a pretty good pace without bogging down. It leaves a flat smooth finish, and you can run your hands across without getting any splinters. And if you look closely, it does leave a few lines from the cutting blades, but that's because I went a bit fast. Not a big deal because you're still going to give everything a good sanding before you're done. Another great feature about this planer, or any other planer in general, is the ability to make chamfers. A chamfer is when you cut the corner off of an edge, leaving you with a beveled cut. You have a notch at the front plate of the tool for starting chamfers on any corner. You can do it freehand as I did here, or you can use the included bevel edge guide to make perfect 45 degree chamfers. You can also make rabbits with the bevel guide, and the bevel guide can also be set to make rabbits with different widths. Although the maximum rabbit depth is 27 64 of an inch, and that's because part of the tool that holds the cutting head gets in the way preventing you from going any deeper. The size was the first thing I noticed when I picked it up. Overall it's bigger than similar corded models, but it's not huge. The knob in the front lets you dial down the cutting thickness with 20 settings from 0 all the way up to 5 64 of an inch cutting thickness. It does have a couple of interesting features. One is a pretty big blade saving feature, as it has a plastic tab on the bottom of the base plate that keeps the cutting head lifted off the ground when you set the tool down. This prevents you from accidentally damaging the blades when you set the tool down, as most people are going to forget to move the cutting head so that the blades are out of the way. The tab is spring loaded to open on its own, and it folds back automatically when you use a tool. So you don't even have to think about flipping it out when you're done using the tool or laying it flat when you want to use the tool. And you can also lock the tab in place if you don't want it to flip out on its own. All other electric planers have a dust chute, but you'll find that most only eject dust on one side. This poses a problem if you happen to be standing on the side where the dust blows into and you end up with your clothes all full of shavings. So what Milwaukee did was they made a double sided chute. And in the front you can select which side you want your shavings to fly out of. Bosch also has this feature on their cordless planer, but Makita doesn't. The Bosch 18 volt cordless planer only has one cutting blade, but this Milwaukee model has two cutting blades, making it just like most corded models. The Makita 18 volt cordless planer also has two cutting blades, so this model gives you the best of both worlds. A double sided dust chute and two cutting blades. Milwaukee also gives you replaceable, double sided cutting blades. This way when the blades get dull, instead of having to resharpen them, 
You just simply remove them, turn them around and reinstall them so you end up with the new side. It includes a hex key to replace the bolts that hold down the blades. But on the unit that I received, the included hex key wasn't the right size and I ended up slightly rounding off one of the bolts, which was disappointing and it was very annoying that the included hex key wasn't the right size. But hopefully the model you receive has a right size hex key so you can change the bolts to change the blades. So overall it's an excellent cordless tool to own. Personally if I needed to smooth out and level out boards, I'd rather just run them through a joiner or a planer. But there are going to be those times when your workpiece is just too big to fit into the machines and you're going to need something compact and portable to bring to the workpiece. So this is going to be one of those tools that's going to be very handy to have on hand. And if you like using hand planers, I'm sure you're going to like using electric hand planers such as this one. And as for pricing, you're looking at $200 for the bare tool alone and you're looking at $300 for the kit that includes one XC 3.0 battery that charges in one hour, the dual voltage charger, and a soft tool bag to put everything inside. So I hope you guys enjoyed this review. Let me know what you guys think of this Milwaukee M18 cordless planer in the comment section below. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe if you're a big fan of tools, and follow me over at social media over at Facebook, Google Plus, and Twitter, and over at the web at toolcraze.net for more tool reviews and tool news. So thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time.